Hey, it's Matt. Today we're talking about vibe coding your designs, specifically vibe coding your Figma designs. So I'm going to walk through our new import functionality for Figma on Replit, and I'm going to show you how you can pull in really unique designs and start building entire applications around them, not just landing pages. Um, so if you're familiar with Replit, typically you'd start by describing an app that you want to build. But now in the sidebar on, on the home page here, uh, we've added the ability to import code or design. And so you're going to go over and select Figma for this tutorial, and you're just going to have to authorize your Figma account. That takes uh, one or two minutes. Um, and then you can paste in a URL to any Figma frame. So what I've done here is I've uh, grabbed a template that I found online. I really like this one. I'm going to share it with you all in the description for this video. Um, but it has a lot of elements that would be difficult to build with AI if you've tried things like this in the past, right? The fonts are really unique. Um, the cards and colors here um, are all very distinct. Um, and there are even some, you know, sort of uh, assets uh, that are specific to this application. So we're going to try and bring this in, build it in Replit. Um, I actually, for this demo, went over to our desktop component here, and I added in a little customization. I, I changed the name. So you could start with the template you find online, change uh, some of the text elements. Um, and then we're going to select this home uh, frame here. And I'm going to copy as copy link to selection. So I have a link to this frame copied. I'm going to head over to the import Figma design page and drop in that link and click import from Figma. Now what's going on here? This is kind of important actually, uh, because more than just converting this to code, we're actually building an entire application around this design. What does that mean? Well, it means that you know a follow-up from this video could be adding like form submission logic, adding user authentication, adding a database, adding actual app functionality to the landing page that we're importing. And that's different from a lot of the other tools out there because if you're just building like a client side app or front end app, you don't actually have the back end functionality um, that allows you to build things that work or that do kind of like data intensive operations. Um, and so, again, more than just bringing in kind of cool demos, we're actually building a full stack application around uh, this app. And so, you know, I think one of the hurdles before in building with AI was getting things that look exactly like what you have in these design tools. And that's what we've seen a lot of our users, um, a lot of businesses uh, really want in the next kind of phase of building these AI applications. Um, and so we're generating the code for this app and handing it off to Agent. So what you'll see is that we imported the app from Figma, and now we're integrating it with, with our full stack JavaScript website. If you're non-technical, you don't have to worry about that. Um, all that means is that we're setting up our environment here. We're installing files, we're configuring packages, um, and if you've built with Agent before, we have that familiar full stack architecture, um, just meaning the app has a front end, which is what we're going to see in the preview pane, and it has a back end. Um, so the cool thing about this is this looks pretty close. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to open this in a new tab because, uh, you know, sometimes we don't really get the full view. Um, and you can see this isn't perfect. Right, this is maybe a little smaller than I want it to be. Uh, this text is off center. Uh, same thing for request a quote here, but we have the majority of the styling pulled directly into Replit. Um, and I'm going to show you how I would polish this up. First, let's point out that Agent here brought the project in and is now just fixing errors. Um, so it's kind of going through and trying to like make things uh, work a bit better. There were some console errors. You, could, you saw a little notification up there. Um, looks like we still have a few. Uh, but Agent's going to polish this up and make sure it works. Next, what's the, um, what's the most important thing here? We can use our visual editor to start uh, adjusting some of these. So for example, this is off center in the button. So I'm actually going to select the button and I'm going to say the text is not properly centered. Agent's going to start fixing that. Um, so while Agent's working on that, we also don't actually need to use the uh, actually interact with Agent. We can go into our visual editor and start just adjusting the font sizes. So I really want these H2s to be the same size as this text. So I can see this text is um, at font size 30, uh, but our H2s or these like service um, kind of headers are at font size 16. Um, so I could say something like, I would like all H2 section headers to be at font size 30, 
um, like the other text, um, well, header text on the cards. Um, and from that, you know, we're going to start to polish this up. I'm going to wait until agent kind of fi finishes. You can see this is now fixed. That is now fixed. We'll issue that command. Um, and this is how I would go about starting to clean this page up, right? Starting to make it look professional, make it fit into our import. You can even see like these images, it doesn't really look like we're imported or um, arranged properly. Um, I think one way I'd tackle that perhaps is by taking a screenshot of this. See what it is supposed to look like. Dropping that in here. Wait for this to reload. And then kind of saying, you know, like our SVG elements or other elements um, on the image are not properly arranged. Can you help me debug or fix? Um, and so very quickly, right, what you'll notice is that we're coalescing this uh, this page into what we want. We already have the, the basics, which are like the fonts, um, the colors. Uh, now we're just working on alignment and sizing. And that's just kind of cleanup work that anyone would have to do whether you're using AI or whether you're having a developer implement the code. Um, classes are hard. Front-end development is hard. Let's not trivialize this. This is why developers typically do it and typically why um, it takes a lot of time. But let's talk a little bit about what this means, uh, what it means for how you build applications, what it means for design, what it means for vibe coding, because this is about vibe coding. Um, the way that we've built since these models came out, since Agent has come out, um, has been mostly through natural language. and um, design has kind of been a function of building with these tools. It's been really hard to massage our designs or to get the styling we want because AI uh, typically knows how to build with very specific classes um, or structures, right? And that means that a lot of AI app built applications look very similar. Um, so what we've done is we've kind of flipped the script and being able to design things as a human being and then bring those into Replit, uh, bring those human design projects into AI um, and then build full stack applications around them means that you can now build projects that have your own sense of style, your own sense of creativity, um, your own sense of expression. And that's the whole point of vibe coding, right? The whole point is to democratize access to software. What does that even mean though? Everybody says it, right? What it means is that software is a means to an end. It's a means to expressing yourself, to creating something, to bring in an idea that lives in your head into reality. Um, and these tools are allowing us to do just that. And now with Figma import, you can very precisely define what is in your head or what you want to visually experience and translate that into code. Then start building with around that with agent. I think this is gonna be huge for prototyping, for designers, for PMs, um, really anybody that wants to take these designs and build projects with them. Uh, but again, I'm Matt with Replit. This has been how you can get started importing your Figma designs into Replit. Um, in future tutorials, I'll talk about how we can build full stack apps around these designs um, and what this means for vibe coding. But until next time, peace.